Hi. Tinkering again. Smart Home Sunday. Playing with Home Assistant. Bit of a different setup today, right? My computer's there. I'm here. Light. So last week I was having a look at what I could do in Home Assistant to control the light temperature across the day, right? To help the body stay in sync with the circadian rhythm. So during the day, brighter, more blue light, then towards the afternoon, more of that sunset feeling. And I want Home Assistant to do that. I've got the Philips Hue light system in the house. I've got Home Assistant, they're connected together. And I found three ways to control the lights slowly across the day. I decided I'm gonna go through all three of them. But today I'm gonna to go through the first one, which seemed the easiest to start up and get going with. So Home Assistant Flux. Let's cut to the chase here. We'll just go and grab this config file. And I'm going to give you two key tips here that will help you. So let's go straight to configuration.yaml, paste that in there. Now, first thing, yes, the platform is Flux. This is a switch and the name of the switch is going to be, well, Fluxer in this case. So that means on the dashboard, it's going to uh, show up as Fluxer. You could call it whatever you like. Now, the first key tip I want to show you is the lights. You want to make sure you use the entity ID. So the specific technical name, not some friendly name. So this light I've borrowed from somewhere else in the house and I'll just show it to you. If I go down to developer tools and it is this one here, light.apt5 underscore dining underscore table. I will go and use that in my config file. Great. So now I'm talking to this exact light globe. The next thing I'm going to do here just to make it a little bit more exciting is let's say that this start time is five past midnight and the stop time is say 20 past. Gives you a clue as to what time it is when I'm recording this. Shh. Uh, now, mode. Here's the other key thing you want to know. Uh, not X, Y. If you're using the Philips Hue light system at home and it's hooked up with your home assistant, don't go with X, uh, X, Y. You want the my red. What is my red? Well, micro reciprocal degree. Uh, I'm not going into it here, but I would say it's pronounced my red. There are a couple of options here. X, Y, my red or RGB. It'll work with my red. Uh, back to the config file, and I'm going to change these transitions down to five seconds and the interval five seconds. You wouldn't normally have it set like that. The 30 and the 60 would be fine, but I'm just gonna turn everything up, make a turbo mode so this video is a lot shorter. Everything's ready. I'm gonna click save. I'll go and restart Home Assistant, down to config, down to check the configuration file, hit restart, and... I'm excited, is it going to work? Well, what I'll do is I will make this light nice and blue or green or pink or something like that. And then we'll turn on Fluxer and see what happens. So if we go and have a look here, here we can see the switch, it's already on. So I'll just go and turn it off here and let's go and find the light. Let's change it to really blue. Super, super blue. Whew. Right, now we're going to turn the fluxer on. Already you can see it's starting to change. It's working. It's really working. Whew. Man, that's bright. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, I haven't exactly got my colors right in a config file, but you can see it definitely works. Uh, and it's quite quick too. I just changed the color again. It'll just keep automatically going back. Right, we're back into the white again. Let's go to blue. It'll just start changing back again. If I turn off the fluxer switch, It'll just stay there. Let's go and change it to a uh, green again. 
and it'll stay green forever. But now if I turn the switch on, it wants to take me back to that nice, bright, daylight color. And then of course, close to sunset, it would eventually make it more red. There you go, it works. And that's super bright. <sighs> okay, hopefully now you'll be able to get started also with Home Assistant and Flux. I'm gonna play around with this during the week. I'll give you a little bit of an update next Sunday on how I feel this has gone. And then we'll look at digging into the next way to handle adaptive lighting. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye.